Hello, my name is Mario. Welcome to another system design in Go video. In today's episode, I'm sharing with you how to implement a gRPC service, specifically a bidirectional streaming RPC. So what is a bidirectional streaming RPC? This is the third streaming RPC and the last RPC supported by gRPC and consists of a combination of the client streaming RPC and the server streaming RPC that we covered previously. Both the streams are independent of each other. This means the client and the server can read and write messages to each other in any order. So in some cases, the server could be waiting until all messages are received before replying back to the client. Or both of them could reply to each other, sort of like a ping pong game. Let's look at the code to demonstrate this example. As usual, the link to the code will be in the description of this video, so feel free to check it out. The first thing we have to do is open up the protocol buffer that we defined previously to introduce the values that we need to add for defining this bidirectional streaming RPC. So the key part for this implementation will be defining a new method in the service that happens to be receiving a stream and returning a stream as well. So what are we going to be doing the, for this one? We're going to call it calculate bits per minute. It's going to be receiving a stream called calculate bits per minute request and it's going to be returning a stream of calculate bits per minute response. So this hypothetical new method will be receiving some messages and doing some calculation and returning those back to the client. Now the important bit here that I want to display is that there is a stream right here and there is a stream right here. So both the receiving in the input is a stream as well as the value that we're returning back to the client. So with that being said, what we have to do next is go and implement the things that we need. So we have a calculate a streaming request. So we have a message called calculate bits per minute request that is going to be defining a few fields. Those will be a string to represent the UUID for the user, unsigned in 32 to represent the value that we want to be receiving. And finally, the uint, another uint32 to represent a minute. Now, next we'll be doing the response and the response is going to be similar to the request in the naming that is, but the value is going to be a little bit different. We are going to be having a float to represent the average in the response. If we go and run both lint, you will notice that everything is fine. We don't have any changes other than the wearable service that we define right here. And also I want to call out this that I added previously for the example. Don't worry about it. I will show you that in a few minutes for the client itself. So if we run both generate, the things that we need to use for this example will be updated and we can start using those right away. The important bit, like I showed you before, is the generated details that are coming in this wearable service grpc pb.go that include the details that we need to implement and to use for the client as well. Let me show you how this works in the server. What we have to do here is implement the type that was added, the method that was added to the generated type that represents the new bidirectional streaming RPC. To do that, we can look for a type called wearable service server. If you notice right here, there is a method called calculate bits per minute. So all of this is what we have to implement in our example. What we're going to be doing just for the sake of saving a few, you know, a few keystrokes, we're going to be copying this line, going back to the server and copying this over and adding the implementation for the wearable service. So we have to remove this and for this for this moment you're just going to return nil and what comes next is you use the package that we have to use and call this thing. So this technically implements the new method that we define for the bidirectional RPC. What we're going to be defining is just some 
simple logic that is going to be receiving messages from the client is going to be doing some average for each five values and then it's going to be returning those every time we have five values we're going to be returning those back to the client let me show you how this looks so similar to the server that we implemented before we're going to be using a for loop and we're going to be expecting a request that is coming from the stream and we're going to be using the method receive if you know that the method receives returns a few important values that is the wearable request uh, calculate bits per minute request and an error obviously if there is an error we have to immediately return so if there is an error we return the error right away however we need to consider the use case where we, if the, the error is equal to i o e o f then in that case we're going to be breaking because the client is not sending us messages anymore next because we're going to do, be doing a calculation we can define a few variables right here one con called count another one call, called total and then an un unsigned integer 32 to keep the count and the total because we're counting every five values and we're calculating uh, the value for doing the average so just keep that right there we're going to be adding the total or rather updating the total to the value that we're receiving in get value because that is what matters to us next just for debugging purposes let's uh, print the land the receive value because i want to show you what happens when we you know use everything together so we are receiving the value and because we want to keep the average we want to determine if count module 5 is 0 which indicates hey is this the fifth time that we're receiving a value well in this in this case we're going to be just for the debugging purposes again we're going to print in now the total which will be the total variable and the value that we're sending which will be a float 32 total divided by 5. so this is the same value that we're going to be sending back to the client that is actually sending us the details so for that the stream has a method called send that indicates the data that we need if you notice right here this is the response that we defined previously in the protocol buffer so we're going to be using ra that detail right here so we define a wearable pv response and then the average will be what we printed out above will be total divided by five and obviously we need to check the error if there is an error we just return the error and because we already reach the average uh, or what we're trying to use for the average which will be in the case five messages we just have to restart the total so if we compile this everything seems to be okay and nothing is failing now let's implement the client and we're going to be showing you this uh, or will be showing you these two things working together in a few seconds for implementing the client we're going to be opening this file under examples by directional there is a main.go file right there that defines the basic the bare bones for connecting to the server in grpc the important bit about this is that we are going to be using the method that we defined before client calculate bits per minute that returns the data that we need for streaming or using a bi-directional stream this stream or rather this method is going to be returning a stream and an error we need to use pass in a context which in this case could be background next obviously we need to check if the error is different than nil in that case we just log the error uh, opening a stream error so so far we are just doing the basic for opening that connection to our server we need to send some data for that we're going to be using a for loop you're sending 10 messages therefore we're going to be expanding two requests in, or right, two responses in our uh, streaming uh, response when we are finished sending the data so we just do a typical for loop uh, where we do a stream send where we send the wearable request which in this case we just need actually the value which will be a u in 32 and just want to send the value in the in in the for loop 
this returns an error. If there is an error, we log a fatal and send error. Pretty straightforward. Now, because we're finished sending the data, we need to close that server sending or client streaming RPC. Uh, and then for doing that, there is a method in the stream variable called close send. So error, close send. If error is different than nil, again, we log that value, close send error. For receiving the values that we need to call a method in the stream variable called receive and receive returns the response that we were expecting before that we define in the protocol buffer. So we call receive and this will return the response and an error. And remember, this is supposed to be a stream, so we have to use a for again. And the same rules apply if error is equal to IOEF. We just break, which indicates the server is finished finish sending data. If there is an error that is not IOEOF, that it means that well something something wrong happened. So in that case, we just we are just going to fatal end in the receive. And finally, we we're just going to be printing out the results that we're getting from the server uh, server that in this case will be the average. So res get average. We compile this. Everything seems to be working. Let me show you how these two applications work together. So we implemented the server and we implemented the client. Let me show you how these two work together. First of all, let's run the server. And second, we need to run the client. What is important here is that you will notice that we are going to be receiving the five messages and then printing out the value and what we're going to be sending back to the client, which is the average down here. And similarly for the second or the next five messages, we are doing something similar. We are receiving five and we are sending the other values right here. So this is how you can implement a bidirectional streaming RPC in Go. And this concludes the four RPCs available in gRPC. This is not the end of the series, so stay tuned for more videos. I will talk to you next time. And until then, please take care and stay safe. See you.